go. What is up, fellas and lady fellas, and welcome to the next episode of Minecraft Building Mode with the Blighty Bunch. It's not this Minecraft Building Mode, is it? Fucking hell, it's never been called that. It's Minecraft. the Christmas Chicken Sandwich time. It's the Minecraft Advent Calendar, episode 23. Yay! Chicken! Yay. Chicken wee! Anyway, Easter. Alex, Buddy. you weren't here for the last episode for the majority of it, so you had to go do whatever you was doing. And we had have, a phone call. He had a phone call. He had a phone call. He had a phone call. It was a phone call from Alex. Babe Station. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's Babe Station. Anyway, <laughs> we are back with another Christmas quiz time, and we'll start with you, Al, because you weren't here. So, Charles Dickens is said to have considered the names Little Larry and Puny Pete for which character? Oh, it's got to be easy. S say that again. Charles Dickens is said to have considered yep. the names Little Larry and Puny Pete for which character in one of oh, his that, That's novels. an easy one. For which what? Fuck which that. character? Which character would have... What character was Charles Dickens <laughs> going to call Puny Pete or Little Larry but didn't? Tiny Tim. There we go. I need to fucking explain it three times. That was so easy, wasn't it, that yeah. question? Anyway. Puny, Puny Pete? It was the name that he was considering. It's not what he actually... No, I, I know. I realise that. I'm just saying, what a weird name. I'm glad he didn't call Tiny Tim Puny Pete. <laughs> right. Stupid Charles Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> With his most best selling authors and shit. <laughs> yeah. Not really nice. What does he know? I might just download his book right now in, right. in anger. Daniel. <laughs> yes, Frond. Who composed. Actually, no, that's a, that's a really shit question. You won't know that. Um, Driving Home for Christmas was a 1988 hit single for which single? Oh, I know this one. Alright, pipe it down. Uh, I don't know. I know the song, I don't know who sang it. Anybody else want to take it then? Yeah, I'll take it. Chris Rear. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Bobby. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'll just do a little bit of building and then we'll uh, carry on with the next one. Uh, so I'm going to go around and add a load of note blocks around the place because it looks lovely. Uh, so, yes, Alex. I mean, Bob, sorry, even it's your question, mate. Which southern central US state whose capital city has the same name was the last to recognise Christmas as an official holiday? What? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> which Christmas US sorry, which US state yep. who has a capital city of the same name was the last in the United States to recognise Christmas as an official holiday? New York? Oklahoma. I don't even understand the fucking question. Basically what place in the US was the last to say that yeah, Christmas is a holiday? Yeah, it's the has the same last name or something they've uh, got made. It has a capital city with the same name. You know every state in America has a capital city, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know like New York, New York isn't actually just repeating it in a song. It's because the state's New York and the city's called New York. Yeah. yeah. There's a city in Oklahoma called Oklahoma, basically. Alright, okay. So. Still wouldn't have got that fucking question if I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's just generally the gist. But, um... Alright. Anyway. Live and learn. What day of the week, Alex... Was Christmas Day in the year 2000? What day? Yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the 20... Uh, Monday, sorry. It was the 25th. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually so going to say it then. Bloody well. close. Uh, so what, I'm going to go around and put furnaces and shit inside each of these houses. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Droppers we want. Burr. We want a furnace, crafting table, biddly, biddly, biddly. and have we got any biddly. bookcases? We have. We have. E. Right. Uh, Danzis. Yes, Baku. Question for you. Oh, no. Under which Puritan leader did the English Parliament pass a law banning Christmas in 1647? He's a fairly well-known bloke, this guy, so... Eh? Can you repeat that, please? <laughs> What guy basically passed a law that said that Christmas would be banned in the UK? In what year? 1647. Fucking hell. Um, Henry VIII. No, Oliver Cromwell. Really? What a wanker. Yeah. Uh, the round heads against the Cavaliers, that was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> that was. That's why I was saying it was a fairly well-known guy. Yeah, well, not that well-known. Oh yeah, because he was—he became like the fucking Lord Protector and all that bullshit, didn't he? Yeah. What a wanker! He was basically a knobhead. 
Yeah, got rid of the king and then became a twat. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Power was too much for him. Yeah, well, power corrupts. It does. That's why Bob's a novice. No, I'm kidding. That's why the Sith must be destroyed. Unlimited power! <laughs> we both made a fucking Jedi joke there. <laughs> it sounds like G.I. Joe. <laughs> it's not even my final form. Oh. Oh, I've ruined it. <laughs> Oh, I feel bad for Alex now. He always says something, and then we all go quiet. Mm, well, it's it's question, is it now? You're all a bunch of Oliver Cromwells, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs>